Race number five is the first leg of the triple trio with a big jackpot as well. 4.6 million going to the pool, so an estimated debit in the region of $9 million. Class 4, 1650 the trip. Headed by Dealmaker and uh, Chad Schofield, who's a two-time course and distance winner. Lady first day course and distance as well is maiden victory. That was three starts back now. Land Power last start winner, a happy valley over the 1,200 metres. Uh, off the reel, gets up from the 12 to 1650. Fourth also at the valley last time out. Uh, yes, we can run up to double take over the 1,800 metres uh, last time out. Like my day out of that race, as was El Valiente, who finished in third and down to Sun Sun Farfa. Yet to win in 15 starts in Hong Kong. Four of those have been on the dirt. Dealmaker, best view and Sun Sun Farfa. Tom are the horses that have been up at Chung Fai. Maybe good to slow the prediction here. Like my day is consistent in terms of pace. He'll go forward, but he's been beaten decent margins in his last two. And Land Power had uh, a good run on the trail and won nicely last time out. Uh, Dealmaker, I think, should be able to get across from six into a nice position with the lucky Mary Knoll. Tricky draw for Al Valiente out in gate number nine for Richo Maria. Off the reel behind them. Lady first. Hang's decision will get back uh, with uh, Ruby Stars, who has no form to speak of whatsoever. Here is uh, Lady First, won his race three starts ago. Look, this is what he does. I'm showing you this because he plays up, he carries on. This is what circuit number one does as well. But this is uh, his normal uh, work track work, so don't feel bad if you do like him because he does that all the time. Van Power, now he's coming to the surface for the first time and he's the last start winner. Alfred Chan aboard once again, did win at Happy Valley last time and he goes nicely. This will be his second start for the new stable and it's drawn well. Barrier number two, and yes, we can. He's a nice big horse, this one. Uh, look, he, he did uh, run nicely at his last start on the first go on the surface as well. He's backed up really nicely, and then he's under a good hold. So I think being such a big horse, racing does him well. OK, we'll have a look at him in action in a moment or so. Yes, we can. Let's start off with Lady First, Tom. So this was on the back of his uh, win. He then ran second to Sky Supreme. Dealmaker El Valiente and Sansa Farfa to consider as well. And he's had, since had a run as well where he's beaten a length and a half behind Nunchucks. Uh, he had a good run on the trail on that occasion. He's got a little bit of a check at the 300 metres courtesy of uh, one of the, the savvy horses, Savvy Kingdom it was, who gave him a touch-up there at the 300 metres. But there was nothing wrong with this run. He's boxed on uh, well enough. He's had a trial since he was uh, seventh. So... Probably hard to leave him out the way he's going. Yeah, look, I've got him in on a minor line. He's consistent. He's hard to have on a wind line, though. All right, Land Power at Happy Valley. As he said, Paul, we're looking at the track. Well, this was his first start for the found stable. Went bang. Now switches to the all-weather and up in trip. Yeah, so um, I think the, the, the step up and trip will suit him uh, up to 16.50. He'll be right on the pace, um, barrier number two. Look, I, he was right on the cusp for me. He didn't quite make it, but wouldn't be surprised if he ran well once again. Yeah, same, same here. Didn't quite get him in, but he had a perfect run. He didn't really have too many excuses if he didn't win that race uh, last time out with the ride that Alfie gave him in the, the trail. He was able to get that uh, cut uh, one off and uh, at the top of the straight and win nicely. OK, he goes up in trip. Yes, we can. El Valiente hangs decision and like my day, Tom, will come down in trip from the 18. It was a pretty good effort from Yes, We Can last time out, considering he raced pretty much wide throughout and he was only collared late in the piece here uh, behind double take. Yeah, nothing wrong with the run of El Valiente. And he kept getting better this son of Sava Beal and he's dropping back in trip here as well. I thought he stayed on well. And it was a little bit keen maybe in the early stages of this uh, contest for him and did like the run of Hang's decision. He made up quite a bit of ground late, Paul. Yeah, he did catch the eye, the old boy hitting the line strongly. I've got the second and third horses in. I think they're both good chances in this, even back in trip. Yeah, Hang's decision, I've included him. He's won over $9.5 million in prize money now, uh, the nine-year-old. But uh, who wins this, do you think, Paul? I'm going to go with the Yes We Can. I think he can go one better. It was a good run from him last time. That was his first run on the surface as well. Out of Valiente ran behind him, I think that'll happen once again. The one slightly outside the square, although there's a lot of money for him, is off the reel uh, early. Uh, look, he's only had the two starts here, but he's by done deal and he steps up to 16.50 for the first time, so I can see him running a bit of a race and Lady first for fourth. 8, 10, 5 and 2. Same on top horse with the Yes We Can. It was a pretty game performance from him last time out. Beno Jung and Alexi Bedell from gate number three. I think Dealmaker might be able to run a race here. He's recently just dropped back in grade. He's a two-time course and distance winner in the class and the grade. And I thought he won his barrier trial up at Chungfa quite nicely. He looked to be under a nice enough hold there. Hang's decision the way he got to the line last time out. And El Valiente only slipped him in on a minor line. I just thought the draw was a little tricky. Eight, one, three and ten. I thought the race was a little bit tricky, but I'll take Lady first. All weather form figures, three starts, a first, a second and a fourth. He'll do for me with a £7 claim.